Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology. In today's video, I will show you guys how to turn the smallest computer Raspberry Pi into a powerful file server using Open Media Vault. I will guide you step by step how to install, set up and configure everything easily without any complicated steps. So make sure to watch till the end and let's get started. Connect the micro SD card to your PC. So at first you need to go to raspberrypi.com and click on software. So I'll provide the link on my video description. And after that you need to download Raspberry Pi Imager which I have already downloaded. So you have to click on download for Windows. So if you are using Mac OS or Ubuntu Linux then you can download from here. So you just need to download for Windows if you are using Windows. After that you have to install Raspberry Pi Imager on your computer. Next you just need to click on see all download options. Click on that. Now here on this page you will get a Raspberry Pi, a light which is here it is as you can see which is 64 bit as you can see. So you have to download this ISO file on your uh, computer. After download you need to open Raspberry, Im Raspberry Pi Imager first. After that you need to click on choose device. Now here I have Raspberry Pi 4 so I will select here Raspberry Pi 4. If you are using Raspberry Pi 5 or 3 or 2, then you have to select from here. And after that, click on choose ways. Okay. So you can directly download from here or else you can uh, just locate that ISO file which I have downloaded. So I'll use the custom. So I will select that one and I will download the light one, which I have already downloaded and click on open. After that, click on choose storage. Now I'll select my uh, SD card over here and after that click on next now here click on edit settings now you can set your host name as you can see I have already set which is Raspberry Pi username technology and the password I will set here one two three and here is my uh, wireless LAN configuration Wi-Fi LAN configuration so you can set over here if you have if you are using Wi-Fi on your network then you have to put your Wi-Fi name and password over here then you have to select time zone and keyboard layout after that click on services once it will done now you just need to enable ssh and choose the first option which is use password authentication now go to option make sure that this op three option is selected now click on save after that click on yes now click on yes it will showing like uh, it will erase all your data so click on yes after that it will take some time to install the Raspberry Pi so you have to wait for a few minutes. Now you need to connect the micro SD card to your Raspberry Pi. Connect the power cable. And connect the Ethernet cable. So now what I'll do is I will connect the Raspberry Pi server using putty so you can download easily from uh, google just search putty and download putty on your computer and after that i have to type my raspberry pi host name or ip address over here so simply what i have to do is i just need to go to my router login page which is which is 192.168.0.1 and i will log into my router after that here is wired and uh, wireless client as you can see so I'll click on VAT clients and as you can see here is my Raspberry Pi uh, IP address which is 192.168.0.119 so I'll copy that IP address and simply I will paste it on putty and after that click on open now type uh, the username which I have already set during installation uh, the username in my case it is technology and press enter and the password is 123 and press enter after that as you can see I am successfully logged into my uh, Raspberry Pi now what I have to do is I have to update and upgrade this Raspberry Pi so what I have to do is I just need to uh, just need to go to this website here's my website here's my article as you can see so you just need to copy this command which is sudo, sudo apt update sudo apt upgrade minus y and after that right click on your uh, terminal and press enter now it will take some time to update and upgrade your system so you have to wait for few minutes after done you need to uh, copy the next command which is vget 
uh, install script as you can see so simply right click and press enter so now it will take more than five minutes to install on your raspberry pi so you have to wait and now you just need to open your browser and go to your raspberry pi uh, server ip address in my case it is 192.168.0.119 and after that press enter the username will be admin and password is open media vault so you need to type open media vault and after that click on login after login successfully click on setting page over here and you just need to select all this widget and after that click on save now it will sh show on your dashboard as you can see where you will get all the information like cpu network information uh, memory cpu utilizations and the services now i will create a file server using open vault uh, open media vault so what i have to do is i just need to click on storage now click on disk now here you just need to click on this scan for a new device so before that you just need to uh, insert a pen drive or hard drive on your uh, raspberry pi and after that click on scan for new device and as you can see currently i don't have any external hard drive or ssd so i have inserted uh, my usb pen drive which is near about 60 gb so i'll select that drive and i will click on wipe and click on confirm then click on yes after that i will select over here quick after formatted done you just need to close this window now click on file system from your left side over here and click on this create and mount a file system now select here ext4 now here you just need to select your pen drive or hard drive which you have inserted already and after that click on save now it will take few minutes so you have to wait for a few minutes so after done you just need to close this window now here you just need to select a file system so click over here select your pen drive now you can uh, you just need to select the warning uh, threshold so i'll select 95 percent after 95 percent it will show me a warning message and here you can select means uh, put any tag to remember your a drive so I'll type over here pen drive and after that click on save so now as you can see status is showing online now as you can see it is showing like pending configuration changes you need to click on this apply button and click on yes now here as you can see available and use storage is showing now click on shared folder under storage and click on this create button and put any name like I will type over here pen drive and choose the file system from here and after that from here you can give the read write permission so I'll select here administ administrator user read write permission and after that you can put any tag over here to remember that setting after that click on save now click on apply to change the configuration and click on yes so now what i'll do is i will click on user and i will create one user for this file server so i'll directly click on users here i will create a user and user i'll click on create then username like test in my case you can put email id if you have so i'll put the password which is one two three one two three then on groups you just need to select over here users so here it is as you can see now after that you just need to click on save now as you can see test user is created successfully now i have to click on apply to change the configuration next you need to go to services from your left side over here click on smb and cifs go to settings and enable the work group from here and simply click on save and after done you just need to click on apply After that click on shares under SMB and CIFS 
and click on this create button over here make sure that it is enabled and under uh, shared folder you just need to select your pen drive which you have created already and after that here you just need to click on save after that click on apply to change the configuration so after done all the settings i will try to access this file server from my windows computer so what i'll do is i will open my computer and i will click on this three dot button and click on map network drive now on this uh, folder you just need to type slash slash then ip address of your raspberry pi in my case it is 192.168.0.199 And as you can see my raspberry pi drive which i have shared is showing over here on my computer i can copy paste any file from here so before ending this video i would like to share few quick things with you i create high quality tech related videos every day so if you enjoy my content and want to support my work please don't forget to subscribe my channel also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content so i'll see you guys on the next one next video till then bye bye take care